well hi lovelies welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be making a tea with bay leaves and rosemary please if you find this video useful and helpful please hit the subscribe button like this video share with your friends and loved ones click on the post notification bell right beside the subscribe button so you get updated whenever i upload a new video my name is Belinda and our first ingredient is rosemary. I'll be making use of rosemary today. I'll be talking about rosemary first in this video. So rosemary contains anti-inflammatory and antioxidant property that helps to stimulate the hair and help to reduce hair fall. It also can also help with other hair issues like split hands, stunted growth, um, scalp eczema, psoriasis, dandruff, etc. It can also help to supply blood, um, the flow of blood supply to the hair follicle. Can also help with um, scalp inflammation if you have scalp inflammation and all that. The next ingredient is bay leaves. Using bay leaf for the hair helps not only to um, eliminate dandruff, but it can also make the hair shine. It can also treat free radicals in the hair along with um, pollution that makes the hair dry and bristle. It has anti-inflammatory properties that can help reverse damage done to the hair and make it shine more. So this is where I'll be pouring my ingredients, my um, rosemary and bay leaf, like you can see me do like so. I poured my rosemary into the bowl like you can see me do here I this is um, exactly just two tablespoons of rosemary and I'll be adding my bay leaves into the um, bowl as well before pouring water into the jar There is no harm trying bay leaf or adding bay leaves to your hair regimen. It is 100% safe, it is natural and can do good things to your hair and your scalp. It contains thera therapeutic oils that reaches deep into the hair shaft which helps to condition and nourish the scalp. So I poured hot water into the jar. Like you can see me do here, I poured very hot water, not too hot, but hot water into the jar to infuse it. So I covered it up and allow it infuse for some time as you can see the the ingredients are on the top of the water so hours later this is how it looks i did i was just trying to experiment which one is better the infused water or what i pour it in my um, pan i'm still not impressed by the infusion so i want to boil it a little bit so that it will properly infuse into the water so here is me pouring it into my pan I let it boil for 15 to 20 minutes and I removed it from heat. Some minutes later I I allowed it boil, cool down for some time, then I'll be transferring it back into my jar. So this is how it looks. The, um, the bay leaves and the rosemary are soft and tender. This is how to know that it has properly infused or what will I say? Leave a comment in the comment section on what you think or how you prepare your own um, rosemary water. So let's talk about it. So up next, I'll be transferring it into my applicator bottle with the help of my phone and also a sieve 
to see about the herbs. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video for now. Bye. Remain blessed.